HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we look back at this year's Memorial Day festivities in Hopkinton. Without further ado, here is a look back at the always terrific ceremony hosted by the American Legion Post 202.
had the placing of the wreath by the American Legion and the Scouts. We will now hear the Gettysburg Address, recited by Hawkinton High School Junior, Lizzie Gross. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives so that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we do so. But in a larger sense, we cannot consecrate, we cannot dedicate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who have fought here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little know, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to the cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion, that these dead shall not have died in vain, and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. We will now have remarks from select board member John Catino. Good morning. I first want to thank the Veterans Committee for hosting this event and all the volunteers that work so hard to make this a success every year. And mostly I want to thank all of you for coming out this morning. Many of you have heard me often say that this is my favorite day in Hopkinton. How could it not be? This is pure Americana. Right now, right now, all over this great nation, just like us, people are coming together to pay their respects to those who made the ultimate sacrifice that allow us to be free. Memorial Day is another truly American holiday designed for us to put our political and social ideologies and to dismiss our petty differences and just be thankful and pray and reflect on those who stood in harm's way to ensure our safety. We live in an amazing country, and in this vibrant, welcoming community, endowed with open space, natural resources, facilities, and programs, promoting a well-educated and healthy community. We are admired all over the world because of our American spirit. 
that comes from our virtues of fair play, sharing, giving, and love. My daughter just got back from a school trip to rural China, where she said complete strangers would come up to them asking if they could just have a picture with an American. Great people have come before us, setting a bar of excellence by their hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. And we cannot, we absolutely cannot let their work and their sacrifice be in vain. We must bring our town and our country together, working to ensure that the next generation and future generations exude the same virtuous American spirit that makes us the envy of all the world. Thank you to all of you, and God bless all of you, and God bless our great nation of America. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Catino. The Hopkinton High School Band will now play America the Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Those of you who know me are aware that I'm a man of few words, and I don't want to wreck that reputation today. I'll endeavor to be thoughtful and get to the point. First, let me identify those of the next generation that are participating in this event this morning. The Hopkins High School Band, aren't they great? Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, the Cub Scouts, the Brownies and the Daisies. They're a big part of today's ceremony. Over there at the ready to raise a flag at noon is Sarah. And here with me on the gazebo is Liz and Tess. Of course, our honorary flag bearer, Scotty Mackin. Of 
course, we know they are the future of our civilization. And to be sure, today's ceremonies will someday have an impact on their attitudes and their decisions in their journey through life. It is reassuring to me, and it should be to you, that these young minds assembled here this morning will remember this day and the respect and gratitude that we are showing will become a part of their childhood memories. This indeed is a cherished honor for me, not only to speak at this gazebo on Memorial Day, but to represent all the Hopkins veterans, both past and present. As the years go by, we become even more aware how precious life is and the tremendous impact a life cut short can have on a family. Memorial Day has been become a part of the healing process where the community gathers to collectively mourn and remember those who gave their lives in our defense. As we pay homage today to our departed brothers and sisters, we are so grateful for the support and attendance of the Hopkins community. It is very comforting and a welcome sight to see all of you here assembled on the common as we parade up Main Street. On the days leading up to Memorial Day, one is blessed to witness a visitor to a family plot in the cemetery, maybe planting or watering flowers, cleaning the stone, or even talking to the stone, something I do myself. When you see some of the dates carved in these stones and the short lives, you might wonder what could have been. Memorial Day should and ought to have a significant meaning for all Americans, regardless of your politics or your religious beliefs. One certainly has to be respectful and admiring of those who are willing to die for a cause they believe in. Maybe not a popular cause or even a belief held by the majority, but a personal conviction held by that individual. This is the time and the occasion we pause to become conscious of our past and acknowledge the men and women who gave their lives defending our country. A country committed to battle evil in this world. A country founded under the principles of basic human rights. A country where each grave of a fallen soldier may also represent the family and the children that never were. It is said you become a man when you bury your father, and you become a gold star parent when you bury your son or daughter who is defending their country. This is truly the ultimate sacrifice. Celebrating Memorial Day every year reaffirms our faith in our nation and way of life. On this day, as always, we pause at monuments and plaques in our town that serve as physical reminders of this day and its meaning. These memories and emotions that define this day hopefully will be passed on to those who follow us. Honoring the dead brings people closer than any other event in life, sharing grief and remembrance of those we have loved and respected. And by honoring those who gave all, we give new life and a rebirth to our American ideals and patriotic feelings. May the souls buried here in Hopkinton feel the love and appreciation demonstrated by our community as we gather here on Memorial Day. God bless America and Semper Fi.
The high school band will now play the national anthem as the flag is raised. Feel free to sing along. do it for this HCAM News look back at the Memorial Day ceremony. We will be back next week with a brand new edition of HCAM News. Coming up next, a look at the upcoming government and community calendars. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you again soon. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. A number of community members were at Faith Community Church Thursday morning as the Hopkinton Chamber of Commerce presented founder of the Hopkinton Independent newspaper, Sarah Duckett, with their annual Distinguished Service Award. You know, it's hard to put in perspective what Sarah Duckett's meant to the community because uh, if you think about the kind of impact that the Hopkinton Independent has uh, on the politics and sort of community affairs, uh, it's a pretty daunting, uh, it's a pretty daunting challenge to try to do that. You know, she she's been immersed in the community. 
She's proven herself as a volunteer over the years, Appropriations Committee, very much involved in the library, and then starts the Independent, which has made a, a major contribution to the town. That's why she deserves the recognition she received this morning. So pretty much every way that it would be possible to touch a town and have an influence in a town, Sarah has found a way to do, and has kind of been drawn, I think, to do that, just because how much you care about the town. Many community leaders were happy to recall memories and to recognize Sarah for all the hard work she has done to keep Hopkinton residents informed with what is happening in their town. Most people appreciate the impact of a local news of what the local newspaper has on a local economy. The fact that she sold rather than closed the newspaper was her way of keeping Hopkinton great. Sorry. For one, a local newspaper affects the cost of borrowing for the town's projects. The Independent affords local citizens the opportunity to scrutinize and interrogate the quality of projects and policies before approval. Lenders and creditors appreciate that. If she had closed the publication, the vacuum created would most likely be filled by national papers whose desire is to chase the national and global sexy stuff and might not give a damn about local projects. And so, yes, as others have previously said, the entire Hopkinton owes her and her family a debt of gratitude. Chamber of Commerce Chair Scott Richardson was also in attendance and happy to be part of recognizing Sarah as one of his last Chamber of Commerce duties. Well, again, it was kind of like an, a long overdue recognition of Sarah and her contribution to the town uh, over the past, what is it, 40 plus years. Um, certainly focusing on the, really the creation of the Hopkinton Independent as a really critical part of this community and having it continue after she leaves is a testament to you know kind of her vision and commitment to further communicating what's important to the town. And uh, also I guess this was your last presentation as president of the Chamber of Commerce. Could you just talk about uh, what it was like to uh, be the president of the Chamber of Commerce and work with that group all these years? Sure. Well, again, uh, we, have a, we have a great group. And over the past six years or so, uh, certainly every year I'd say, well, who wants to be president? And nobody kind of stepped up, which was okay because we, had, we have a lot of new members, a lot of great committee chairs, and they're really doing the bulk of the work. So, but obviously, after that time frame, it's time to get some new new people, uh, you know, up, coming up the ladder. And uh, Sir Christina agreed uh, to be uh, to be president. I think she'll do. I know she'll do a wonderful.